It was hardly worth coming to bed if you're going to listen to the football all afternoon. Oh, I'm sorry, Pep. It's just... It seems a bit unnatural trying to do it during the day. And you know, I kind of concentrate when Newcastle are playing. There was an article in Cosmo last month about how married couples should use as much variety as possible in their love life. Times, places, clothes. What's Cosmo? Cosmopolitan magazine for the woman of today. Oh, that's where you get all your fancy ideas from, isn't it? They're not fancy, they're just interesting. Things are changing for women, you know, never leaving on Tyneside. I know, pet, I know. It's just I was brought up in a very yes, traditional way, I thought. Oh, aye. Wife at home looking after the kids. Pub with the lads, Saturday night on the nest, and Sunday afternoon asleep on the sofa after a big lunch. Oh, how are you, man? I've never been that bad, Brenda. I'm not a complete chauvinist. No, but you're not a feminist, neither. Look, if it meet you happy, you'll go to the pub tomorrow at dinner time. I'll make the Sunday dinner for you and Norma, OK? Aye, well, you're going to have to, because I'm doing a couple of hours at the hospital tomorrow morning. Oh, some weekend off. Sorry, Pet. I'll be pleased to do it. I'll give Debbie some quick lessons. Oh, time. I seem to have ten minutes free. Hey, listen. About them, uh, them clothes you can wear for making things more passionate. What about them? Well, how would you feel about wearing some? Well, it depends what they are. There's a fine line between eroticism and kinkiness, you know, Neville. What did you have in mind? A black and white striped football shirt. <laughs>